lost animals getting a better chance to return to their owners. That's the idea behind the Kent County Animal Shelter giving pet microchip scanners to police departments across the county. News 8's Byron Tollison is there with more on how it works. By giving officers these microchip scanners, the animal shelter hopes it will reunite lost pets with their owners much more quickly. There are several companies that make uh, scanners. They all essentially do the same thing. When police in Kent County find stray animals, they can now use this tool to bring them back home. You just take the scanner and you scan it over the chip and it gives you the chip identification number. They're called microchip scanners, now in the hands of nearly a dozen police departments across Kent County, thanks to a $4,700 grant from a nonprofit to the animal shelter. How it works, officers use them on lost pets. And if they have a microchip, the scanner reads back a unique number, helping police call the chip company, which gets in touch with the owner. A lot of times law enforcement after hours will run across animals that are injured. They've been hit by cars, they've been in fights with other animals. So time is of the essence when it comes to getting those animals help and care. Usually police bring lost dogs to the shelter in Grand Rapids, but with the scanners, local police departments can find the owner much sooner than that, allowing them to pick up their pet nearby instead of the shelter. It's a win for the animal shelter because it's one less animal that we're having to care for. It's a win for law enforcement because they're able to do a good community service for the public. And it's a win for the owner because they're not having to miss their pet or risk not being reunited with it. According to the American Veterinary Medical Association, 10 million dogs and cats are lost or stolen across the country every year. Its research found that only 22% of lost dogs entering shelters return to their families, but that number jumped to 52% when the dog was microchipped. The more pets that are in the community that are microchipped, the more opportunity we have to get them back to their families before law enforcement intervention is necessary or even animal control has to bring them to the shelter. The animal shelter says local vets can install microchips and local nonprofits also host events where it can be done as well. In Grand Rapids, Byron Tullifson, News 8.